Hello, this is Hacker Debian, and I am here with r slash Tumblr. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. It will probably help me to stop tumbling, because I can't stop. It's so much fun. Maybe some comments telling me to do something else will oh, finally get me to stop this. Who knows? Maybe the comment section will be my intervention. <laughs> Maybe. Let's get into this. Apparently, I don't know how oh, freaking things work. Let's go. Remember that first live-action Scooby-Doo movie where the antagonist was literally Scrappy-Doo? He was stealing people's souls? Like, actually, really stealing so and absorbing souls. It was planning on taking Scooby's soul to rule the world with an army of demons and get revenge on the gang after they abandoned him because he kept peeing in the car. And near the end, he turned it into this huge dog monster. What? This happened. A real movie. You don't even mention the part where he rides around in a robot version of a popular British comedian. Oh, wow. That movie sounds like, like, like rubbish, though. I feel like Olive Garden would be a much more appropriate name for a Greek restaurant than a pseudo Italian one. This is the first secret mystery of the Olive Garden. Second secret mystery, unlimited breadsticks, valueless item in infinite quantity that are offered gladly nor enjoyed. Third secret mystery, their logo displays grapes rather than olives. So many inconsistencies with Olive Garden, what the heck? I mean, the breadsticks is, is kind of a thing that a lot of fancy restaurants kind of adopted, though. Well, Olive Garden sounds more Greek, and their logo displays grapes instead of olives. What the heck is going on? If you're writing a set editing that's marred fancy in the sense that it's like you took one of those medieval, medieval fancy worlds and the society progressed to the point where it's 2020s, and you want to throw in a fancy cow for cap on the part of culture that's basically Europe, I mean. You're 100% allowed to just make the place a janky mashup of the medieval and modern era. That's legit what just what Europe looks like. You see, Europe likes to make fun of America for being all different. But like, you haven't moved on from um, a medieval times. That's why we're different. You'll see a freaking castle on one side of the street, a glass paddle skyscraper it. Or on the other side. By the way, glass and concrete are different types of of sand, but that's basically been just, just changed a little bit. So does that make skyscrapers um, sand castles? And walking in the middle is a dude who looks like a freaking Viking, talking on a smartphone with a tattoo of the Stone Age symbol of the spiral adder of the spiral adder of the underworld tattooed on one shoulder and Hatsune Miku on the other. 
My therapist's office is located on a street that was built in the 1300s. And Google Maps and a modern bicycle are freaking powerless against a cobblestone chaos that was built to be manageable on foot and horse carriage. Last summer, one of the restaurants there caught fire, and the fire didn't spread very far. Marshall and Gus building regulations have set in place the last time the city burned in 1760. This is a thin veneer and modern tech on top of 1800 stuff clumsily constructed on top of medieval stuff that's f built on the foundation of something earlier. And the more you look, the more you uh, realize that if you looked at all of it long enough, it's just turtles all the way down. And sometimes you see a guy walking down the street that you're pretty sure is straight up 50% in the end. Oh, and the other half is Danish fur trader from the 1500s who found a wife in a foreign town. Poor town and just stayed. What the heck is going on in Europe? You know, this is kind of why um, playing the Assassin's Creed games, which are based in like super ancient Italy, and if you actually learn how to use the map properly and walk through the streets rather than climbing on buildings to get everywhere, you can actually pretty much just navigate through Italy in real life. If we have no taxes, we would have no firefighters. Marcus Lucinus Crassus. Since there's no fire brigade, he literally invented his own, composed of 500 men. When a call of a fire rang out, they rushed to the scene and waited while uh, Marcus O'Shea a price for service. No pay, no spray. Then he would buy this burnt out property for, for pennies on a dollar. Then Crassus wound up being the richest person in the history of forever as a result of this. Like making... Bezos look middle class levels of rich. I could swear I read that somewhere. Yes, and I I believe a slave trading school. This is a future libertarians want. They poured or molten silver or gold down his throat for being such a rich dick. You know not a bad idea to do to the rich of today. Ah, my headphones are a little bit it, it, it freaked up. <sighs> the human stress response seems so maladaptive. To be fair, ninety nine percent of our evolutionary stress response was meant to deal with far more immediate, conclusive scenarios than the tedious VS we put up with these days. Very, very slow tigers are chasing me. Not to leave a serious comment on a silly post, but one of the best pieces of advice I ever got about stress was to sleep. But secondly, when overwhelmed, lay in a bed and intentionally hold all your mental muscles clenched. Clench everything. Hold for a few seconds, then let go. It tricks your animal fight or flight. Bucky response? It's thinking it had a had an and won a fight, and some of the stress response will leave you. Turn a slow tiger into a fast tri tiger with this fricked up trick. <laughs> Imagine a sleepover with all of your favorite characters, like all of them, each and every one. I'm pretty sure that would result in at least two murders, a trip to the emergency room, and several counts of arson. Yeah, most definitely. And I think a plan would probably get it destroyed, I don't know. I want that twink obliterated! By whom, though? I might be your classic hunk body type, but I'm not exactly a top. I have a couple exes I could call that might be his type. You want someone who would take him out for dinner first, or just 
I want you to kill him. He would totally say this though. <laughs> the best of leftist inviting is when someone advocates for clean, high trust societies and inevitably gets called fascist by literal freaks who think things cleaning up you is is hair needles from local clay playground is as gentrification. How's far is that? People with Androids? Free. People with iPhones? $20 since y'all got it. How about Blackberry users? If you're pulling up with a Blackberry, you get paid a $20. You see, the Apple old users have to pay twenty dollars to the party and the Black Blackberry users. That's what you get for using iPhone. Honestly, you paid for or literal crap in your hand. I don't know what you expect. <laughs> so what do you think about plays? I like how in a theater top, I'm in space are necessarily a metaphorical. I don't like how plays always have to begin with someone walking on stage and talking. Too many a directors try to work around this by having someone walk on stage and brood silence for a moment before talking. This is worse. If you were directing a play, how would it begin? Back by the back of the auditorium, so everyone turns their heads, and when you turn back, the play has already began. Un <laughs> That's beautiful. <sighs> Cocker Tarlson and Lon Demon is fired on the same day. Huge, huge day for all the poor souls who still watch TV news. <laughs> Don Lemon and, and CNN part ways. Tucker Carlson out of out at Fox News. A parody headlines is is unbelievably if a e, e funny. Oh, yeah, Don Lennon and, and CNN part ways. CNN fires Don Lennon. Tucker Carlson and, and out at Fox News. Fox News media, Tucker Carlson part, part ways. You know what? Good riddance. But it's too bad because I'll just find another insult to replace Tucker Carlson with. Maybe they'll hit up Andrew Tate if he's out of jail yet. By a rec exile dysfunction is so bad today. Dude, I hate having ADHD. Executive dysfunction! That is one amazing in 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 word. <laughs> Booby traps? Sure, I would easily fall into a trap if I saw boobs. Despite being interviewed individually, all four gave the same the exact same response. Tonight, we're drinking from the, the pond. Where did OP go? OP has died of dysentery. Beautiful. America got superheroes and Japan got magical girls. I think America is the clear loser here. If I got rescued by a superhero, I'd be like, there's a 50% chance you are a secret billionaire. Go kill off Basil if you really want to help me. 
If a magical girl rescued me, I'd be like, thank you, girl. Good luck on your math test. Real. Ignore the icon. I I agree. A wholeheartedly. Oh, but if Spider-Man saved me, I'd be like, thank you, boy. Good luck on your math test. Spider-Man's an honorary magical girl. Yeah, he is. Why are st spells stored in dusty old tomes? Why aren't they audiobooks? Put his headphones on. This is gonna be so freaking efficient. 400 and a million kilovolts of, of lightning eject from the speakers. Ow. <laughs> Behold, the forbidden knowledge. <laughs> Dear Dyer, today I learned my first curse word. Bick, bitch. Dear Diary, Bick. Dear Dyer, I just learned, earned the F word. It is fuck. I just learned the <laughs> F word. It is fuck. A legend. Dear Diary. Bick. I mean, it's supposed to be bitch, but, you know, I like to make fun. Bat and spelling is fun, okay? So, I don't think those free condom universe condoms universities hand out suck as much as guys say they do. Okay, but if but seriously, if you're ever considering sexy times with a guy and he tells you that he can't wear a condom, there is a 100.3% chance that he is a liar. I you definitely should not have sex with him. Don't have sex with liars. Have sex with a cute uh, with a cute honest people that I bring you ice cream the next morning. Liars do not bring you ice cream. And if they do, it's ice cream made of lies. Ice cream made of, of lies is very emotionally unfulfilling. Don't trust liars. Order disease ridden ice cream. Order disease ridden and and, and Cox, dude. Anyway, my dad always tells me that when he's with people bragging about their kids. Oh, wait, by the way, the only chance ants where I might. where. Uh, uh, I might be like. like, okay, I get it. is if the dude is a trans dude, because then it's like, okay, I get it. You don't. you probably don't have a, you know, thing to oh, freak with. My dad always tells me that when he's with people bragging about their kids' accomplishments and such, he goes, Yeah, but are they, like, cool? And the parents always give him a confused look, and he goes, Are they cool? My kids are so cool. I love hanging out with them. It always throws people off, and I think that's so funny and sweet. Like, I may be a freaking idiot with just about zero accomplishments, but at least my dad thinks I'm cool. Why does every fanfic quit your name house we got romance? Maybe I just want to be co-workers at Taco Bell with Dio, taking a count class with Kakashi. These men are not dateable, but I but could provide entertainment and value in other facets of life. Holy crap, I cannot read that, please. Rare just hates eyes. Your name. Do you want to guess our manager by drinking all the bottle of glass as of the fountain while I deal some time for so they think they didn't refill it? Beautiful. Beautiful. 
Vague profit. Something will happen. Anxiety. <laughs> <sighs> Toddler tavers, leashless ankle weight system. Put the weight in weight right there. This is a bad product. You might have temporary control over your tot, but you're just going to make it stronger. What's worse with than an uncontrollable baby? An uncontrollable baby who has never missed a leg day and could kill you with one kick. Honestly, true. Excuse me. This cat owes me an explanation. A zebra. Beautiful cricket who brings blessings. She is a, being a scuzzle for Halloween. She is doing her best. Yeah, stop being mean to distract kitty. Dang. Why is being, being able to summon sandwiches at any time? I'm his best a superpower in three points. When in a fight with the villain, I can offer them food and solve issues if Diplomatically, I could tell them a sandwich where a vile organ might be in an enemy. I could have a hamburger, BLT, and open face sandwich and shit, such as pizza. <sighs> oh my goodness, this is made by Cthulhu, who made those videos a whole lot more interesting. Reminder that H.P. Lovecraft stories are set in or near Massachusetts. So you should be mentally giving all the characters Boston accents. Oh my god, it's an Aldrich Hara from Beyond the Stars! I love this! And I still gave them the 20s voice by accident. <laughs> that was funny. Aki Yoshi I, Hongo is accredited, uh, is, accredited, is accredited on all relevant media, media as the creator of the original concept and character designs for the virtual pet Digimon. However, nothing is done about Hongo as an individual. There is some possibility that Aki Yoshi Hongo could be a pseudonym for two people. Aki Maita, the creator of the original Tamagotchi, and Akiichi Ihongo, the principal officer of Tamagotchi a for Bandai. His name is sometimes spelled as Aki Ayoshi Kongo, but this might this may be a typo. Today I learned that no one knows who really created Digimon, and a person who's credited with it may not be a real person. This is fucking me up because we thought humans created in the nineties. And we're discovering that maybe create itself is both a textbook horror plot and the canon of the digital world in like every iteration of the franchise. Okay, that is horrifying. <laughs> oh, oh no. Hang on. Love saying I've been getting really into mundane, normal things as if, as if they're a new, undiscovered hobby. Been getting really into putting cups lately. Mm. Been really getting into sleeping all day lately. Been really getting into Beatles yowie yeah, like, recently. Sure, why not? Been getting really into Beatles yowie yeah, recently. It doesn't fucking matter. Only made a cute post I thought uh, we would at all like about pudding. And now it's about Beatles yowie. Yeah, sure, whatever. Been getting really into Beatles yowie. Yeah, Is that the response you wanted? Congrats. You got it. Fucking Beatles yowie. Yeah. Let's try this again. The... And getting into Weezer Yuri recently. <laughs> Damn it! 
why I think the most unintentionally pretentious part of me is I generally forget that most people do not have near encyclopedic knowledge of mythology and folklore. Same, actually. I literally just assume most people know at least the name of every great god. I literally assume that most people all, all were as obsessed with, with ancient and Greek, Egyptian, and, and other cultures' folklore as I was when I was delusional and thought, I, and thought it was real life. My mom and I were watching the Banshees of Insurance at Siren Street asked, Do you know what a Banshee is? And I was so stunned because it would never occur to me to ask that question because I would never assume the average person doesn't know what a Banshee is. The average person, the average person knows what a Banshee is, right? You know what a Banshee is, right? You know the names, names of the Greek gods, right? You know that hor Norse myth where Loki fucked the horse, right? Right? Um... I think of the big three from... Well, they say they're the big three, but... Yeah, I know a bit about the Greek gods, and I can remember most of their names. It's just hard to remember the Greek ones, because they're really hard to say sometimes. Like the wine god. Dionysus is a freaking... An, and a partier, though. I love him. But there's, um... Hermes, Apollo... I forget, um, the Forge God's original name, but I know his, um, uh, Roman name is Vulcan. And obviously there's Zeus, Poseidon, Hades. Everyone knows them. And, um... Oh yeah, Zeus's wife, sister. Yeah, the Greek gods are kind of Alabama uh, nature as well. I thought everyone knew that. Whatever. Rest in peace, Waldo. I always wanted to find you, Waldo. But not like this. Not like this. Damn, I'm really getting, getting into these... This cat is huge! <sighs> when he gets in the tub, sometimes he purrs so loud that the shampoo bottles fall over. True power. I have never seen a more powerful old cat. Is there actually anything to these? I'm not gonna deal with that. Hairless mice. Let's go. Oh wow, look at this toy. It's pretty neat. This is a hairless mouse. Now banging out the uh, tunes. 2023. Air dry clay over foil and the uh, wire armature. EVA foam, acrylic paint, paint marker. Nice job, Neil. Proud of you. Man, non binary woman. Life is good. I don't feel like a boy or a girl. Non-binary! Okay, that was just weird. Love it, though. Hmm. Wait a second. Did we just get a new follower? All of the porn vet on uh, 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 Hey, get out of here! 
done beautiful women always clogging my notifications. Same though. Same. Hey, don't cry. One million and milligram prozac. Uh, okay. I think this would fix me, but only once. <laughs> Same. If you got like a hundred uh, and kilo bag of glitter and opened it, it up and left it in the path of like a tornado, I think that would be interesting. I don't care about ecological damage right away. I do. 100 kilogram and bag of seaweed based glitter. I don't. 100 kilogram bag of enriched uranium based glitter. We're gonna see how, 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 how much a nuked, nuked tornado would do. <sighs> These are some posts from the video that I deleted because I got a little bit too unhinged. Me walking into the grocery store to buy everything bagels. Ho ho ho, I like this post. If I made it, I would have written ginger ale. I would have everything bagels, but that's fine. You want to make a post about bagels instead of ginger ale. This time around, I get it. Me going back to the grocery store because I forgot ginger ale. Oh, what a great post, friend. I love the part about ginger ale. <laughs> ginger ale official is just obsessed with with this post that's hilarious you see brand accounts unlike tumblr don't do the crap they do on twitter and they actually get attention because they just try they don't all try to sell you oh crap they're just reliable today i learned that victorious romans would have a slave to whisper in their ear you are just a man as they proceeded and through the cheering crowds to stop their egos transcending. Me, a slave, bad my job. You are the fucking man. That's not the only thing they whispered into their ears. So I've heard from my Latin professor. He said there was an anecdote from about Julius Caesar and the slave told him, Everyone here knows you're a bottom. Oh my goodness, that's beautiful. Just walking through a crowd that's just cheering you on, and someone's like, Everyone knows you're a bottom, and that you are a receiver, not a giver. Like, that's beautiful. <sighs> I mean, I paid 80, I'm, I have enough money to pay about 80 bucks for Tears of the Kingdom, so I'm already breaking this rule. We had an intense game of fetch today, he was having it buffing, I had, had to take a photo. What a happy little furball, that's adorable. I'm not into how the kids today, but the tales are the most inflatable of men you see outside car dealerships. I kind of want one. Just because they're kind of a vibe. They just flail. Nice. Oh wait, they got the teapot design on their arm. That's, that's amazing. Cutie prison while we get the house painted. This is actually a very good idea. That person looks fun and very comfortable and very comfy. Yes, I too would like to hang out in Kitty Prison. Officer, please send me to Kitty Prison. You see, that's because the prison actually doesn't it's not based on on confinement. It's based on reformant and it's based on reforming and and containing in prisoners until they are ready to re-enter society. 
the way this is as well, and that's why you don't see people going back to prison. Ironically enough, I think that uh, 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 here you would see people going back to prison because we are so capitalistic society, and uh, if we did prisons like Norway, we it would be actually better living for cheaper than and being outside of prison. Tumblr is unique because, like, it's collaborative shitposting and you can't opt in or out. You can just say something about your day, then evil wizard shows up to turn your post into something humorous. Every other site is just one and done, but here, a post is a welcome mat to be funnier than you. Yeah, or sometimes you'll see a post that acts into your brain and forever rewrites your instinctual reaction to seeing a pineapple explode. I don't know what people are talking about with these pineapple explosion, but I do know what people are talking about when they say the jail for mother has permanently entered my lexicon. Jail for a Tumblr! Jail for a Tumblr for 1,000 years! Tumblr is, is cruel and unjust for messing with my head. Oh boy, this looks... What the heck? My boss booked me two nights in a, in a brutal style motel, hotel, and it looks so... And it's so fucked up looking. What the hell? So, what is wrong with you? OP. You're being put into the XP farm. Your boss is going to kill you for XP. Sorry. <laughs> Just a face. <laughs> That's great. I think we should milk those things that grow on aspen trees. This feels like a threat. Smiley face. Mr. Explodes when expelled to air will not, not be able to join us today. He has passed away. I am so sorry. Oh no, what happened? Shark attack. Huh. Yeah, I love when and we run across these posts of people who have names that at uh, pretty much depict, that pretty much say a what um a way that uh, they would uh, probably it, it die. And then you just get hit by the way they actually died and it's completely different. Like it's kind of like Granny Scorpion shoes. She he tragically passed away uh, last night. It was pneumonia. Pneumonia, her pet scorpion. He shot her point blank. I still want to see that. <sighs> That's... Yikes. I don't think that can be... I think I should have actually probably have not stayed on that for as long as I did. Now it's on YouTube. That's bad. I think we'll just have this be the last one because I don't want to hit the one that, that I went unhinged on yesterday. My cat hates taking his pills. The only way we can get him to eat them is to turn it into an elaborate uh, uh, pantomime. We take the packet out of the cupboard and slowly hold it up saying, Oh, what's this? A treat? A treat for Lewis? We're making surprise faces. We offer him a pill. Then before he has to answer to sniff it, we wag our fingers at him and replace it and in the packet. And so it becomes a tantalizing forbidden mystery. We continue doing this until he's so confused and excited that he will eat the pill as fast as possible, just so he can find out what it is before we can take it away from him again. As soon as he's eating it, he looks utterly disappointed and betrayed, like a child. Out of a delicious sweet, only to find it was a chocolate covered. A chocolate coated Brussels sprout. It never gets old. OP, this is the funniest thing I've ever read. He is 17 and has kitty Alzheimer, so we never play this. So we can play this out over and over again, and he never recover and he never remembers the outcome. It's just, it's a disappointment in every time. OP, how could you hide this from me in the tap? Right, this makes it is objectively 10 million times 
Wait, is that 10 million? Hang on. Three, one, two, three. Yeah, 10 million percent funnier. 51st Astosis. You trick Lewis. You trick Lewis like a common fool. Oh, jail for it. Oh, jail. Jail for owners. One million year. Oh, what's this? A treat? That's great. Okay, I think we're, we're done. <gasps> if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like on the video, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Please, turn the comment section into an intervention so that I'll stop doing this and do something else. Tomorrow we'll be doing some, um... I don't know. All I do know is that the camera isn't is not tracking my eyes anymore, so I have to adjust it and fix that. That's fun. That's better. I'm thinking Miara me I R me I R me I R I R L. Sheesh, that was hard. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye!